actually don't even need my headphones. What am I doing? Oh wait, I'm, am I playing? Yo, I'm playing, what the? Honestly, wasn't expecting to be playing during a cutscene like this. I may, I'm able to move around and stuff too. Whoa, okay. Okay, wait, yeah, what are, whoa, new looking uh, menu here, okay. Wow, this game got a drastic overhaul of what it looks like. Um, I shouldn't need to change anything. Yeah, because I think everything should be fine. As long as the camera's not inverted, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we're good. Don't need to change anything. So we're inside like a like one of the okay wait this looks like this looks like the city though or the floating cities in the first game This looks like some pretty shady looking uh, activity. First person? This game is so different from the first one already. But um, for those who are here, um, basically, Welcome! Today I'm going to be playing uh, Gravity Rush 2. I'm going to be playing through the first good bit of the game, and I'm going to give you my first impressions of the game and see how I like it. guy tell me about his dreams and stuff. Wait. This looks familiar. This looks like part of the first game right here. This this looks familiar to me. Some nasty stuff must have happened or something. Yet we're still going even though they told people to evacuate. Nah, dude. I, wa I want to meet my quota.
So is this the ore that we're mining? Okay, so we're drilling through these like orb looking things. He's losing... Is that me? Which one is me? They look the same. What? I thought I was playing as some random person. Oh, how weird. Well, we're we're in the game now. Do I have my gravity powers right now or not? Cuz I remember how to use them. I guess not cuz saying that we have to go through a tutorial first. This game has some like great music too, and they have come. These graphics are so much more uh, have drastically improved since the first one. The first one was pretty clean, but this has added so much more like coloring and detail that just looks fantastic so far. Okay, yeah, so I don't have Dusty with me, so it looks like I don't have my gravity powers. Are we looking for him? What are we doing here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I have no idea who that is. Haven't met this person before. Yes, okay. So, was I was talking about, um, if you've seen my video for the first one, this right here, I love this. This art style of like the, these comic cutscenes, and you're able to move around like the camera. So you can see how far back these cutscenes go with your DualShock controller, and it that, it's awesome. It's so cool. You've both been nothing but trouble since you showed up. Why didn't you... You didn't check the grav levels, did you? I'm guessing she means gravity by that. No, we're really sorry about that. Two lost grav suits. Our rules demand we always pay our debts. Sorry doesn't cover our losses. Lisa, wait, can we at least have dinner first? No, and don't bother complaining. I can't take it. I I should have I shouldn't even have to care about gravity. The nonsense about shifting gravity again. Go get back down to Earth. We're off. Set course for Benga. Oh, how do we end up like this? I don't know, a lot of things must have changed since the first game, because this is completely different. Our trouble started with the incident at the at Nui Hira Leon. We were pulled into a horrific gravity storm and drifted through the rift plains. Oh, she's actually reading it. But uh, when we awoke, we were with the boat people who worked the city stolen by the storm for ore. Their leader, Lisa, treated us like slaves. The days when I was Hexaville's gravity queen seemed so long ago. I haven't seen the other gravity shifter, Raven, or my partner, Dusty, since. All I have left is an empty stomach. Oh my gosh, the graphics look so much better on here. Oh, 
Oh, this is crazy looking compared to the first one. All that stuff would look like the... Okay, if you see like the box art for um, like the Xbox and PlayStation versions of like Minecraft and how it's really smooth, smooth and clean looking with not a lot of like shadows and stuff, that's what this game looked like before. Chapter one. Lisa? Lisa is something up. I thought we had today off. I can't read that. Convey a message for Miss Sai for me. Make sure the fleet has enough spare gravitational power. Sure, but uh, why do I have to go? I'm exhausted from a hard day of work at the mining site and... New as you might be, you remember our rules. Right, all debts must be repaid, and a lazy worker is a hungry worker. Deliver the message when you're done, report back to me. You don't pull your weight, you lose your weight when you stop feeding you. Got it? Got it. By the way, have you seen Cece around? Cece? Cece, no. I'm not sure where she could be. If you do, tell her she better remember to look after the livestock. Sure, I'll let her know. Lisa sure is rough with her people. Wow, oh my gosh, this looks completely different from the first game. Oh my gosh. Wow, okay. Ooh, and can I act? I have a map. What does it look like? Oh my gosh, this is completely different. Lord have mercy. Uh, well, I guess we're going to talk to people. Yeah, let's try to talk to everyone first first wow this looks insane I oh okay you have to press square this time hey uh making yourself useful around here of course i do everything lisa asks me to and i pull my own weight in fact right now i'm trying to find masai for oh masai's over pressing the prepping the mining boat hmm oh ew what Getting a little ripe there. Smell like smell like one of the, one of our animals. Maybe you might want to take a bath. Oh, come on. What do you expect? I'm forced to sleep in a bird coop. Seriously, that's kind of gross. But Drax, whoa! Okay, phased through that fence a little bit and kind of scared me. Uh, I guess we can go over here. Um, let's actually go back to our map and try to get all of these talking points first. That's what I like to do. I try to check everything before I do any type of story elements and stuff like that. Whoa, camera. I did not do that. Oh, can I make it over there through this? Well, that's kind of a risk right there. Don't know if I want to take that quite yet. That I can make. Wow, the animation is so much smoother, too. Let's go talk to this dude all the way over here. Whoa! Okay. Alright, what you got, dude? Oh, hey, a drift rat. You getting along with Lisa? That food, we need to f that food we need to fill you two up doesn't come free, you know. Have to admit, those gravity storms bring a lot of strange things our way. Uh, Same night you arrived, something dark fell from the sky near the gravel pit. Couldn't get a good look though, but it might be related to the storm. <laughs> Too bad the storm didn't bring a nice looking lady. Even hey, believe me, I didn't want to come drifting here either. I'd be happy to trade places with your fantasy woman if you if you got me home. Alright, let's get back to the map and let's see. Messiah's whereabouts, Messiah's whereabouts. Okay, well they said she's prepping the thing and we saw her, but I just want to make sure I can get every bit of detail that I can before we before we uh actually talk to her. Confusing first areas, very intertwining. Hello, lady. 
Masai, huh? She's usually over at the mining boat. He's obs oh, it's a he? He's obsessed with mining, so he's always tinkering on that thing. Thanks, I'll just head over there then. I was hoping to get the day off, but Lisa got my case. You better listen to her. Remember, a lazy worker is a hungry worker, I know. Okay, and then we have one last talking person to talk to. Wait, did I hit that right? I might not have. Why I did. The circle is harder, or much more, I guess. I don't want to say it's smoother to move around, but it's like, it's, I don't know. Like, the, the map cursor is what I'm talking about. What's up, boyo? Talk to me, what you got? The Sai, he's probably getting the mining boat ready. He's a hard worker for a young and might be a bit rough, but you can't question his dedication. You might still be green at all this. But play close attention to Lisa and remember our rules. A lazy worker is a hungry worker. Yeah, I got it. Okay, so now we can actually go and talk to this person. And we see what they've got. Here, right? Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, what do you want? Come and tell me one of your tall tales again? Tall tales? I heard the whole spiel about being able to troll gravity and stuff. CC my fault for your stories, but I won't. Masai, don't be so mean to Cat. I'm not lying. If you don't want to believe me, that's your own problem. I just came here to convey a message from Lisa. She wanted you to check the fleet's gravitational energy. There, message conveyed. Tell her to leave it to me. I'll double check the levels and top them off. Who knew delivering a simple message would be such a hassle? Cece. Oh, I almost forgot. Lisa had a message for you too, Cece. Don't forget to take care of the livestock. Oh no, I forgot. I need to get over there fast. Cece, you're meant to do a good job. Guess that's my cue to take off then. Okay. Hold it. Huh? What? I conveyed the message. What more do you want? Before you head back to Lisa, let the workers on the windmill boat know that they need to check the fuel supply. Oh. Isn't that supposed to be your job? Just tell him. I'm already up to my neck and work. Alright, alright. I'm going. Where is the windmill boat? Ah, oh, more people to talk to. Oh, it's only one. I thought I talked to him already. I don't know if I'm supposed to... It doesn't look like I'm supposed to follow her. Just finish your work? Of course, I'm not a child. Right, and being a proper adult, maybe it's time you took a proper bath. Are you still gonna keep on harping on me about that? When is Lisa gonna give me that make me let me leave that bird coop? I guess we're not supposed to follow her. Let's see. Map again. Oh, okay. About right. Oh, I can't select that as my destination, huh? Weird. Okay, let's go. So I can just phase through fence posts. Seems fine. Now we're going to talk to this person. Oh wait, we talked to him before. I got, I've got a message from Masai. He wanted you to check the windmill boat's windmill windmill boat full su fuel supplies. Good lord. Hmm, oh yeah, I suppose it's getting around that time again. Better get to work. I wouldn't want to get Messiah fired up again. Hey, uh, is he always that high strong? He's just serious about his work. He's a little rough around the edges, but once he warms up to you, he's an alright guy. Mm. I see. Though what I don't see is Messiah ever warming up to me, though. Thanks for the tip. That finishes off my chores. Better report in to Lisa. Okay, so it looks like we need to go in this direction. Is there anyone to talk to now? Nope. Looks like we just need to go straight back to where we need to go. Uh, I don't need to get over there. I think there's a ladder over here or something. Or some stairs, possibly. Yeah, this is where the uh, CC went. Whoa. Having me like phase through the fence posts and whatnot is kind of weird. Oh, we got cutscenes now. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, 
CC one more time. How did you not notice the livestock running away? How can you get livestock to really run away on like a floating city like this or floating boats? I'm not asking for apologies. Ugh, I'm sorry. I'm asking for reasons. Well, uh, I I was straightening my doll's clothes and when I looked up, the animals were gone. Not a great time, but here goes. Hey, uh, I did what you asked. I'm here to report in. Fine. Here's your here's your provision. Rest up for tomorrow. Right. Thank you. Cece was in tears. I hope she's okay. And I love the little directional stuff you can do on here. Oh, come on. You're already asleep. And in my bed, too. The only thing you're good at is getting out of work. And I'm not, and I was going to give you half of my bread, huh? What? Uh, how is a person supposed to sleep in a shed full of ducks? So chapter one, episode one, sad angel. Get up, question mark, question mark. Have you seen Cece? She's gone missing. Haven't seen her since Lisa dressed dress her down about the livestock. I don't think she she came home last night. Has it been a night? We just talked to her. Maybe time actually passed and they were yeah they were they yeah they had fallen asleep but we don't know how long they were asleep for but I'm, it looks like a night apparently. Lisa told me Cece was just blowing off steam and told me to leave her be. Really sounds kind of cold of Lisa. I mean it is her daughter. Well technically she's not Lisa's daughter. It's complicated. Complicated how? All oh, right, CC is a drift rat like us. One of the storms dropped her off here. Right, Lisa felt sorry for her and took her in. Treated her like a daughter even ever since. I see. Well, we can't just leave her out there. Say, let's split up and search for her. Got it. All right, so now we have to go talk to people. I don't know. Are we supposed to talk to you first? Any idea where CC might have gone? She can't steer an airboat, so it couldn't have gone far. And she's not supposed to go to the gravity pit alone. I guess I better check Banga over. Oh. Right, I'll check inside the airboats if you check outside. Got it. Figures I get stuck with the hard work. Alright, so now we get to go check our map. And first location is over here. Well, it looks like you might have to play the first game to really get um, a good idea of what's going on in this one. Lisa, do you have any idea where Cece might be? No, but, she, but she'll be back. Just leave her be. You're not worried? Worrying doesn't solve anything, and I don't have time for coddling. Our job is to work hard and repay our debts. That's our way of life. Wow, that's kind of harsh. Freaking right. Okay, do we have another location we need to go to? No. Oh, wow. Um. Well. I, uh, oh, maybe it's going to prompt a new location for me to look at. No? Really? I'm just supposed to look all... <sighs> okay, then. Good grief. Looks like we have to look all the way around this place with literally no place to start me off. Oh, no. There... I was about to say, there's no way I was just going to be left to do that by myself. It's not like there are many places to go. Are you kidding? There are plenty of places to go here. Okay, I was about to make a jump for that, and that would have been bad. Okay, I can't go over there. I'm actually going to have to go around. Oh, over there. This game is a lot of, so far, just a lot of chore doing and running around. I went the wrong way. I have to go the other way that I was going before. It's kind of a pain, but you gotta do what you gotta do. But the first game, the stories, or the main plot line that was in that is that Cat, this character here, did not know who she was, what, where she was, or anything. It was kind of like the amnesia thing. And it looks like we are just now, uh, 
getting somewhere. Cece, I saw her in the bird coop yesterday, but I haven't seen her today. Mm. Do you know anywhere where she might go? Are you going to tell Lisa? No, it'll be our secret. Okay, well, Cece sometimes go over to, goes over to the gravity pit. That's where the gravity, or gravel pit or gravity pit? What have, it, what have, what have I been saying this whole time? That's where the gravity storm first dropped her off. The gravel pit. Okay, that's what I thought. The gravel pit. Got it. Thanks for your help. Oh, that's her right there. Flustered, flustered, flustered. Alright, let's see if there's anyone else we need to talk to before I actually go with the main story. Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's go. Vamanos. I'm making sure my sound levels are good. She was just up here. Hey, isn't this where me and Sid first landed? Hexaville. I think that's, I think that's how you say that. Must be so far away. And without Dusty, I can't even shift gravity anymore. If I had to drift here, why did I have to end up with Sid? I hope Raven's alright. Where could she have gone? Hmm. No, I can't start thinking about it again. Raven and Dusty can fend for themselves. I'm sure they're fine wherever they are. For now, I just need to concentrate on finding Cece. Whoa, okay. I almost just ran straight off into that. Okay, let's go around because she was running this way. I hope there's not a thing I should have done over there. There's water. That's cool. Looks like... Do we have to make the long way down here? Yeah. It's okay. I'm going after this girl. Long way down. Okay, well. It'd be off if I just died already. And I just like started playing this game like 20 minutes ago. Might not even been 20 minutes ago. The animations are way more smooth here too. They still have that weird walking animation thing. This thing, I always thought that was weird in the first game. Well, it sure did get dark all of a sudden. Yeah, because the plot line needed it to get dark. That was CC. Oh, Nevi. Well, I don't have my gravity stuff, but I can evade. I remember how to do that for the first game. Do I just jump? Okay. It's like a gravity storm. Yep, I knew it. Figura, move! Ose, Lisa, Mito. So, go, Oh, we're going. Oh, we need to go. Oh lord, do I have to jump all the way up this thing? Okay, no. Just weird walkway. Ooh. Is CC evil or something? Like, she does the sweet little girl act. But she's actually evil. Yo, that's the same nevy hand thing that was from the first one. That grabbed the small child. more wiggly, je jello-like, and gross. Dusty. 
Cat, perfect timing. You up to this? Of course, as long as Dusty is. So now I can do my gravity stuff now. Oh, thank goodness. Do I have my gravity kick? This story is, or this game is so much more cinematic than the first one. This is crazy awesome. And the, oh my gosh, just the graphics and the coloring and everything. Oh, I got clobbered already. I didn't hit R1 quick enough. Is, is there still going to be, are there seriously going to be like quick time events? Huh, I'm not into those. I'm really not into quick time events. Finishers, that's when you hit triangle? Right. When you manage to weaken a powerful enemy, you have the chance to finish them off by pressing the touchpad. It used to be triangle. Okay. That's it for that one. With Dusty and my power to control gravity back, I escaped that bind, but when the gravity storm faded and the settlement returned from evacuating, and she's gonna get all up in Cece's business. Uh, hey, Lisa, we could... We should be thanking CC. CC found Dusty, and with Dusty, CC, there won't always be someone to help you. You need to learn to watch out for yourself. I'm, I'm sorry. Lisa doesn't want to go to the same tragedy again. Again. Girl, uh, I mean, Cat. I apologize for thinking you were just lying about your past. Thank you for bringing CC back. Oh, well, uh, no worries. You can use the spare room in my airboat from now on. Also, no more sleeping with ducks for me. Now, about your partner. He'll be out of action for a while with that injury. Yeah, because he laid on his freaking face and made his back, like, twist in a weird thing. You mean Sid? He was hurt that bad? When someone goes down, it's up to their partner to pick up the slack. What? Yo, he's probably faking it. Yep, good luck, partner. <laughs> With their apology and generosity, I discovered that the tough exterior wasn't all there was to Lisa. However, it was still a large part. Thanks to Sid being out of commission, I would be pulling double duty. Is he just chilling, standing there? Yo, that's her old getup with her weird leg, thigh, gold, chest plate, weird thing. I love the design of it, though. Yeah, she's got her get up back. Oh my gosh, the color in this game is so slick. I love it. My clothes are as good as new. Did Sid do this for me? Cat noises. I guess so. I wouldn't have expected it of him. My clothes are back. You're back. Things are looking up. What do you say, Dusty? Should we go work out the kinks? So, I guess... But in the first thing that we saw... She was taken with the gravity storm while she had these clothes on. So how did she not have these clothes on? Did Pete? Did I'm I'm not sure about that part. Okay, so now we get to do the tutorial on how to move. L1 to drop back to the ground. Yep, I know how to do all this stuff. One more time, and then L1. Now I can really get around the settlement. You're right. Pressing R1 will cause Cat to float. Gosh, look at the overhaul on the just graphics and stuff of this game. Like the like the art graphics. This is awesome. Floating, aim with the da, 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 da. Press R1. Yeah, I know I know how to do all this. Revert to normal gravity. Yep. Okay, well. Wonder what she's up to. I don't have a gauge, which is nice. You okay there? Sissy, how do you like my new clothes? 
Those clothes, those are the clothes we found you in when you first dropped here. Okay, yeah, 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 that's what I thought. See? Yeah, they were beaten up pretty bad, but Sid mended them for me. Sid did a great job patching them up. <laughs> yeah, who knew, <laughs> who knew we had it in them? Kat, you've got an amazing power. Not to mention you're always so positive and so strong. Well, thanks to you, Cece. Mm -hmm. Me, but I haven't done anything. What are you talking about? You're the reason I got my power back. If you haven't found Dusty and taken care of him, I might have never seen him again. You're welcome, Cat, and you too, Dusty. Oh, that was a person? <laughs> Okay, where are we going now? They're gonna be right down there, I think. Right? Um, maybe not? Am I blind? Did I stop in the right place? Where is this person? Oh, there we go. Oh, I missed. It's okay, at least I don't have a gauge to go by yet. That's nice. Though that fine and fallen, you've got yourself a nifty power there. And those clothes look real fancy, they suit you. Yep, it feels like I'm back to my real self again. Guess I should practice a little more to remember how it works. Don't push yourself too hard, wouldn't want to be wouldn't bleh, would not want to be sore for your mining shift. Maybe I should head over to the windmill boat. Wow, this looks so great. Okay, revert to normal, hit L1 to cancel. Oof. I'm trying to talk to you, come here. Hey Messiah, how's it hanging? Don't go acting all hot just just because you're some fancy gravity shifter. I'm not acting hot, but you've got to admit it's cool. That's exactly what I'm talking about, and that partner of yours. Playing up the whole injury thing just to get out of work. He's not playing it up. Why does Messiah always have to be such a downer? It, no, it does look like he's playing it up, though. Okay, go practice where there are no people. Maybe I'm going to start hurling some rocks and stuff, or do I have that ability yet? Thank goodness I don't have a gauge. Because I would not be able to make it if I didn't have a gauge. Looks like a good place to practice. I'm going to teleport to that a bit. Oh, I have a gauge now. Okay, time to stop shifting and get back to the ground. And two. Okay, there's a energy thing right there, so I can refresh my bar. When your gravity gauge runs out of energy, you can no longer control gravity, and it'll take a little while to refresh, and those refresh your things, and blah blah blah. You, after shifting, you can move with L, jump with X, evade with blah. Uh-huh. Oh, I can't, uh... I can't power slide, or whatever that's called. Like in the first game. I bet my bar is gonna be, like, useless later on. Whoa! <laughs> Camera went crazy. Where am I going? Ah, uh, okay. Ooh, I missed it. There we go, I can stop gravity, right? Yep. Obstructed navigation marks. Shift gravity to get around the obstacle and get to your destination. Yep. That's pretty much a given, right? Made it. 
Okay, now we're gonna head back and looks like we're going to follow that row of things. Replay the tutorial? No. I know how to do all this. I played this game before. Collect gems on your way back to the settlement. Okay. Yeah, my gauge like does not go down at all. Not unless did it save my upgrades from the first game? Cause my if if this was like the real thing. That would have made my thing go, like, down super fast. You can adjust the camera angle by tilting the controller. That can be adjusted by selecting system. You can set the sensitivity to zero so you can turn that off. See, in the first one, I don't think you could you could turn that off. Fine, Sid. You're probably... I'm not sure where you are. Is there a marker that I have to find you? No. Huh. Talisman. Don't know what that is. Power up. Missions. I can't get to that yet. Okay, well, let's see. Don't know. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait. Can I get a close up? Yes, there we go. Oh my gosh. I did this in the first game all the time. And just the, the, the facial expressions and just, oh my gosh, the textures and the color. This looks so much better than the first one. I am so happy with how this game looks. Okay. Um, and I seriously don't have anywhere to look on my map. I don't. What the heck? That's strange, but we'll keep looking around, I guess. Yeah, I can't power slide. I missed that. Cece's over here. Can I talk to you? No, are you okay? And you're fine. Well, I don't know where Sid is. I need an objective thing to tell me where he is. I'd appreciate that a lot. Can I break that? Yeah. Oh. I honestly don't know where he is. Unless he's like over here somewhere. I thought I remember this being like the. This is the main thing right here when the demo was a thing. Because I played the demo at like a Walmart with one of my friends. And I thought this was the main ship boat thing. Where the heck is he? I really don't want to like go around and search the whole entire deck on place, but I might have to, not unless you're over there. Yeah, there he is right there. That's what I thought. Let's say I saw some people chilling over there. Come on, go. Wow, you made that all by yourself? You're so talented. He made a gross-looking arm. Mr. Sid, what did you... What did you do back in he Hexaville? My job? I was a cop, protecting and serving. That's me. That's so cool. Did you pr protect the city with Cat? Yep, she's a great assistant. I was calling the shots. <laughs> the brain, you might say. So that's so cool. Hmm? Oh, the art is so good. Oh my gosh. Wow, check out that, cat. Yo, cat, looking good. With the materials of those pretty ladies, let me have patched up your old clothes. So I have you to thank. Th Gross hand. Fits like a glove, eh? I trimmed the chest just for you. Hold on, weren't you supposed to, weren't you supposed to be too hurt to move? I got worried when I didn't see you this morning. Oh, uh, well, a guy just needs rehab, right? So I uh, went out for a walk. So you can move. If you if you can walk, you can work. Oh wow wow. Oh wait, did she hit him? Oh no, he's faking the pain. Oh no, are you okay? Ugh, I must have strained something. You know how these injuries are. <laughs> to your stations. Oh wow, that was actually nice nice movement for a comic cutscene that this game has. Oh wow. Okay, never mind. I thought these linked up, and that would have been awesome. Cat, we're leaving. Lisa needs you. Do me proud, Gravity Queen. Good luck, Cat. Episode 2, Lonely Request. How long have I been shooting for? Almost an hour. You're telling me you don't need a grav suit? You know, I actually think I'm going to end this stream here, because this is actually was purposely to be a... 
first impressions video, which is uh, what I'm doing. And since we're on chapter two, this would be a good time to uh, talk about what I've experienced so far. So, as I was saying, um, just the, the colors, the art, the visuals are fantastic. There are much more vivid cutscenes, more cutscenes, period. I've had like, like maybe 10 of them already within just like this tutorial section part of or these just first few chapters. And the first one, there was like one or two. Everything was pretty much driven on just like, just you doing your thing and like in the in-game conversations. Not, not this comic type conversation. I'm talking like you're just looking at the person in the game, in the, in the world. But combat is pretty much the same. Things seem to seem to move more fluidly and more smooth like maybe to the point where like it's it'll take a maybe a little bit of getting used to considering that i haven't played the first gravity rush in a while i just uploaded the video for it like a few days ago for the first impressions video and this video will hopefully just go up a little bit after um let's see what else can i say like i like i said combat and stuff is pretty much the same not too much has changed there just besides the fluidity of it just being a little more smooth um story elements so far um we got great backstory already just to fill in some people um just to like not start off in a blank because like the first one it was kind of generic and it started off with cat not knowing who she was not knowing how to do anything she, did, she didn't know where she was or any of that so this one gave enough backstory to fit in with the first game just it's just enough i think it could have put in a little bit more but maybe i'm not far enough into the game for it to give me that much but uh we'll see i'll probably continue playing uh once i shut off the stream maybe because i love this game um what else can i say art looks great the okay the the new menu it's different it's weird how it doesn't just come up with the map straight away and i have to go to it every time that's actually really aggravating because in the first one, I was using those those Navi points like it was nobody's business. I would use those all the time and having the map come up like that like straight away was just simple and easy. And for some reason, I have to go to the map every time by myself in this one and that just makes things more difficult and just time consuming. It just adds a little bit more time. What it could have been a lot more easier just to show the map straight away because that's what most people used it for. But I digress. So far, this game is super, super great so far. Like, I, okay, I got this, I pretty much got Gravity Rush just because of the art style. This art style is fantastic. The first one, the first art style, well, the art styles are the same, but this one just has way more shading, way more detail, and it just all looks fantastic, and that is so visually pleasing for me. I love it, and I dig it. But, um... No, I think that's pretty much it for this first impression stream. So, yeah. Um, so, I think that's pretty much it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. This video is going to be uploaded to YouTube as a video. So, when you guys are watching this on YouTube, which you probably are, um, if you could, just thumbs up this video. It will be fantastic to see how many likes this video will get because I am so excited to play this game. This game looks awesome. And, um, let's see. Um, make, make sure to like and subscribe. If you want to see more videos like this, then you can hit that subscribe button. And you'll see plenty of other stuff on my channel that you might be interested in watching. And since this video might look a little different, that's because, like how I said, this is a live stream. So I live stream over on Twitch, and you can go check me out there and give me a follow so you know when I'll do more stuff like this. But, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this stream and eventually YouTube video, and I will catch you guys later.